Before the video starts, I need to make a disclaimer real quick. The audio glitched out and it's delayed, but it might be fixed halfway through the video, but I'm not sure. So, just enjoy. Far Cry 3! The review of Far Cry. Yeah. Get into it. The story, is it any good? Hell to the fuck to the no. We got four categories in gameplay. Let's see if they're all good or all bad or all decent, I don't know. Our first category in the gameplay section is sneaking. One of the most key components in this game, if not the most key component, because you have to sneak to win. There's no barging in because that's not fun. I have all the outposts, everything. You know how I got him? Sneaking. If I got caught, I'd just pull out my LMG and just kill everybody. But then it was not f it wasn't fun anymore, man. It wasn't fun anymore. So if you want to play Far Cry right, you better fucking sneak like this. This is a mission where you can't even kill anybody. This mission sucks dick, but you can't kill anybody. So you gotta only sneak through the whole way. And you can't kill anybody. You can't pull out an LMG and just mow everybody down. You have to sneak through without getting noticed or you lose the mission. So it is a little bit more difficult than just bombarding in everywhere and raiding all the outposts and doing all that but it makes life way more fun in this game up next we got looting don't have gameplay just gonna show this because this is all you really need just get horticulture 101 and zoology 101 you get double plants and double animal skins if you have skill points and are able to get these please get them they will help a ton What's next? Other than the fucking wingsuit. This thing is awesome flying around this bomb ass island. Also, sing a song while you do, of course. Ma, 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 fucking, ma, fucking wingsuit. You could be hardcore and land in the water like I just did, or you can use a parachute and be a bit of a pussy. But if you want to land on this thing called ground and survive, you want to use the parachute. Let's talk about the betting games, like poker. And poker's the best one out of all of them, but I'll try to explain all of them, but I really want to explain my game here in poker, because poker takes a lot. Uh, I saw that I had a 10 and an ace, I'm like, that seems good. Then I put out the hand of three, and I'm like, wait, that matches with my ace. Let's put in some extra money so I can maybe win it back. Now, everybody folds, so I don't get the money back, but I do get some money, so it's not that bad. But I want more money, so maybe I'll put in less and then I'll build it up over time. That hand sucks, let's try something else. Let's just put in like four instead of just putting it at 10 immediately. That's a better idea. That better idea goes out the window when I see that my eight of spades matches with that eight of clubs. So obviously I'm gonna win because no one else has a nine or 10. There's no possible way. That's like so unlikely, damn it. Okay, that round sucked. Still have $89 and two sevens. This is a really good round. Gotta raise the pot just a little bit so I can get more money back so I can win this game of poker. So he puts out the three cards and I don't see a seven. Come on, just give me a seven. It's not that difficult. I am so certain that there will be a 7 that comes up, that whenever this dude goes all in, all of his money, I put in all of my money except one, and then he flips over two aces, and I'm like, well, I just lost. Yep. Just lost. Watch. I, I just lost. I just, yep. And lost. Well, that kind of sucked, but hey, I just want a pot of four dollars. Eh, it's better than nothing. Ten in the king, ten in the king, that's good. Come on, all in four dollars, let's go. We know the drill. First three cards are bad. Okay, you know what, you know what, maybe, maybe the fourth one will be good. Just, maybe, maybe the fourth one will be a ten or a king, hopefully, please. Nope, no, it's not, it's six. You know what, maybe the next one, though. The next one could be, let's see here. Come on, 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 I'm just getting up. Nope, I'm gone. I am Audi 5000, I will see you later. Next one is sharpshooter where you have to shoot birds out of the sky with a sniper. It sounds more complicated than it really is. It's pretty easy. Look, you miss the first shot, you get the second shot. You miss the first shot, you get the second shot. That's usually how it works with every wave. And you're like rushing to reload every time there's more than like five birds or something. It's pretty hectic, but once you get the hang of it, it's really not that difficult. My target was 10. I ended up getting 15. The 16th one. It was the last one. I missed it. That really made me mad, but I still won, so that was cool. So yeah, just enjoy the rest of me shooting these dumbass birds in their dumbass butts. I don't know. I got I got ten. Can I get all sixteen? This is actually kind of fun. I thought it was gonna be way more difficult than this. Aw, oh, damn it. 
but the bars are on the screen way too fucking long. There we go. Lol, bitch. Got it. I'm on reload. 13 and 16. Did they get all 16? Damn it. Because I think I can. Damn it. Come on, I'm getting this last bird. No! No, not like this! No! Dang it! So Reznov is apparently on this island and he asked me to race and I'm like, of course say yes because it's Reznov, come on! And I start racing on a four-wheeler with its trashy handling and I keep going it's like, this is all fine and dandy until... How am I supposed to... Ah, damn it! Come on, man. What the hell am I supposed to just run now? Yes, yes you are supposed to run. I got my four-wheeler trapped underwater, so I couldn't even flip it over, push it out, I couldn't get a new one, it wouldn't restart me or anything. It forced me to run the rest of the way knowing that I wouldn't finish it. It punished me for getting my four-wheeler trapped underwater. That's just messed up, game. Come on, that's just stupidly messed up. <sighs> I ran over the ramp and jumped. It's tragic. But yeah, uh, it was it wasn't my greatest of moments, and this game punishes you. And I tried to shoot the guy that ran through past the bridge, but to no avail. Anyways, just, just why, why, man? Come on, no, no, no! Just and finally, we have knife throwing. Pretty simple, right? Just throwing a knife at a target. But the guy you're playing with is so damn funny. Every time he misses the target, he screams some sort of obscenity or something. Just watch this shit. You're not gonna get it. God damn it. Now's the part where I go over every single weapon in the game. It's not actually that tedious, and it's me from the past in the clips. It's not me doing a voiceover, which I'm doing right now. It's just me in the clips. So, enjoy me in the clips. Yeah. Was good. <laughs> Alright, we're doing the pistols. So, yeah. This is the uh, 1911. It's the first pistol you get. I just have a nice camo on it. Uh, I've never really used it. Other than one time I accidentally killed a rebel and then all the other rebels started chasing me and it was kind of freaky. But, you know, it's pretty cool. This is the next one. It's a Makarov. It's... I have two-tone yellow on it and the Makarov can actually have attachments when the 1911 cannot. So that is kind of stupid, but you can put a suppressor on this one. I have extended mag and suppressor and it sounds really light. So, yeah, I mean, I've never used it at all, like, not even once, other than me shooting it right there, so, I mean, I don't know, I'll, I'll see how it works, I'll see how it works. Alright, this is the 44 Magnum, I could go on this all day, I've never used it, but, I mean, it looks really cool, so, and it's loud. I have extended barrel on it. I didn't even read what extended barrel did. I just put it on because it's a magnum, and then I put chrome on, and then I put the red dot on. <coughs> All right. Um, this is the deagle, and uh, it's the only pistol that you can put an optical sight on, and the optical sight's like one of the best sights in the game. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And I think I have extended clip, and then I have chrome because it's a deagle, and it it one shots. Uh, it one-shots normal people. Like, it one-shots people with body armor and without body armor, but it doesn't one-shot the shield guys. It one-shots everybody but those guys. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, uh, real quick, before I go into murdering people with pistols, this is the Shadow. It's the M1911 with a suppressor and a red dot sight and black camo. I used to use this before I got the Deagle. It's pretty good and it has 100% accuracy, so... That's pretty cool. Moving on to the SMGs, this is a Scorpion. I used to use this before I got all the radio towers and stuff like that. So, it's really not bad, but you can only put one attachment on it, so that kind of sucks. Camo's pretty cool, sights suck. Moving on. Alright, 
Next we have the, what's it called? A2000. This is something else. It's actually pretty good. Uh, you can put two attachments on it, so I put a red dot and a suppressor. And it shoots pretty fast, because it's an SMG. Obviously it's gonna shoot fast. It doesn't have that much ammo uh, in the clip, but other than that, it's pretty good and the camo's nice, so that's a plus. And moving on to the next gun, I've never used this gun, that's why you just saw the thing that's telling me to what it is. Uh, it's the MP5. I You can put two attachments on it, so I'll put a suppressor and an extended clip. Uh, and I have the old school cam on it, so it makes it look, you know, different. And then it has pretty good sights, because, you know, MP5 also always has good sights, and it shoots really fast. That's about it for the MP5. Moving on to the next gun, I think this is the Bison, but I'm not told. Yeah, BZ-19. It can have two attachments, so I put the suppressor and the optical sight, just like that. And it's pretty good, and I have the tribal camo on it. Uh, it has a lot more ammo than the other SMGs. Um, so that's a plus. Like, you can shoot a lot before you have to reload. Like, a ton before you have to reload. But, uh, and the reload time's not that bad. But other than that, it's pretty good. Alright, this is the Vector. It shoots real fast and real loud. It's pretty good. It's pretty good and it kills people really fast. And if you, uh, it's a good replacement for an LMG. Because if you don't have an LMG, just use the Vector. Moving on to the shotguns, we have the first shotgun, the M133. The M133, it's pretty basic, actually. It's not, it's not anything, like, special, but, I mean, it's the basic shotgun. Next, we have the 1887. Uh, this is a pretty basic shotgun, too. The reflex sight on it. it the reflex sight's not that good. Uh, this does have a longer range than the M133, but it does shoot a lot slower. Like, look, look at the difference real quick. Look, I can shoot that fast. Like, look. And then this one is... Yeah, it's definitely slower. The reflex sight on it. it the reflex sight's not that good. Uh, this does have a longer range than the M133. But it does shoot a lot slower. Like, look, look at the difference. This one quick. is... Look, I can shoot that fast. Now, this gun I've never used, but it seems like I'd want to use it. It has a smaller, uh, I guess, spread, as you can see, and it has no sp it has no weight, so you can just shoot, 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 which is nice. And I have reflex sight on it because reflex sight. It's pretty cool, and you can put two attachments on it, so that's nice. This is the bull shotgun. It's the other variant of this. It's the signature weapon variant. This girl won't shut up, but whatever. Uh, it's the it's this shotgun. If it had a reflex sight and I think an extended barrel. Let's see. Yes, extended barrel and reflex sight. So that's nice. Moving on to the ARs. This is the AK-47. It's the basic one. If you want a ton of ammo, use this one because. Almost every single person on the first island, almost every single enemy on the first island has an AK, so you're gonna get a lot of ammo for it, and it's pretty good. Uh, you might get ammo for your other ARs too, because it's all the same ammo. It does shoot pretty fast, so that's a plus. Alright, moving on to the next gun, it is the uh, STG-90. It's pretty, pretty good. Um, well, every gun in the game is good, so I don't know why I keep saying it's pretty good. I have a shit cam on it, though, so that sucks. Now, this gun I used for a while, it's the F2, or F1, okay. It's the F1. It only shoots in bursts of, I'm pretty sure it's three. Yeah, it's three. Bursts of three, but it will kill an enemy like that. It kills an enemy by one burst. And also, if you want to spam it, it's it's pretty spammable. Now this gun is a one shot. It is it looks like the M14, it's the MS16, it's the same thing. Uh, uh, it's loud. It's definitely loud. It ha has a suppressor and an optic. Optic, my favorite sight in the game. So that's cool. And yeah, it 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 shoots. It it really shoots. Next gun is the P416. It is this thing. It has the marksman sight, which is not better than the optical sight, but it's still really good. It's part of the two guns that you get whenever you go to the second island. So yeah, it's pretty cool. 
But other than that, it's pretty basic, and I don't want to use it, so. Right, this is the Ace. It is uh, pretty similar to the other one, except it has uh, more of a deeper sound, I guess, and it shoots slower. But it, it, it hits harder, it shoots slower, it's better. Oh shit, this thing's tra- After further inspection, I figured out that the SVD, which I've never used in my entire life, sucks absolute- Next up on our gun list, we have the SVD, which is part of the sniper category because we're doing snipers. Do you see what we're doing here? Understand it. Okay, we got the SVD. It's pretty good. I have chrome camo, but it's nighttime, so you can't really see it. And I'm not gonna wait till daytime because I got a lot to do. So... Yeah, but the SVD is the first sniper you get. You can't put an attachment on it, so it's basically useless to use. Uh, little ho, little bitch. How are you not dead? How are you not- Die! Die! Jesus Christ! This thing is awful. This is the sniper I used to use before I got the other one, but I'll show you what the other one is. Okay, I'm gonna go kill these guys, though. Uh, this sniper's- pretty dang good it's called the m uh, 700 predator uh if i can hit people which i can't i guess uh it doesn't really matter but yeah this is the m 700 predator oh no this is just the m 700 nope this is the m 700 predator it's basically the m 700 with every like good attachment on it so this is pretty damn good hold on let me try that again uh just a second there we go. See, it insta kills people without body armor. Moving on to the sniper that is the best sniper in the whole entire game. It's the Z93, uh, I believe. It's really freaking good. Like, look, it zooms in a lot and it one shots anybody, even if they have body armor on, except if they're gunners, because gunners are cheaters and they suck dick. It does take a longer to. Uh, like once you shoot it, you have to wait a little bit before you can shoot shoot it again. But usually, usually whenever you're going into an outpost or whatever, you're far away, and then you're gonna pick them off one by one, stuff like that. So the gun is really good. Like it is real good. <laughs> Moving on to LMGs, this is the one that you can't put attachments on as is with every single category the first one you just can't put attachments on for some reason but anyways uh the pkm it's pretty good it has a uh, pretty bad range and it's recoil is not great but it's okay i only used it like once or twice though i mean i'm trying to do this see i mean that hurt somebody but it took a little bit It's not, it's not great. It's not that good. So next up is the, um, the U-100 or the, uh, fucking U-100. I don't really care what you call it. But it's the LMG I used to use before I got the newer one. It's pretty dang good. Uh, if you see a gunner, you just basically spam it at him until it kills him. That's what I used to do. If you see, if you just see a gunner, you just do this on him until they died which seemed to work and if you got spotted when you were trying to take over an outpost you know al i'd always win because i just shoot at them all right recoil's not great but it's an lmg that you're co constantly firing but yeah basically you're just i would just shoot it at them until it everybody died this is the mkg it's is the lmg that i use now the marksman scope it has pretty good range and stuff like that and I like to use at least one LMG just in case I get in a bit of a, in a bit of trouble. Uh, and it's really good. It has a ton of ammo, so that's also nice. And it kills pretty quickly. Like watch. If I can actually hit him, that is. Like if I hit him, I swear, I swear it'll do. That. You know what? On the shoot. I thought I could hide? No, I didn't think I could hide, actually. I mean, I could hide if I felt like it. See, recoil ain't great, but you murder everything in your path. These are the launchers. 
not get killed. But thank you for showing up instead. Oh, I didn't even hit their car. And... Okay, there we go. Hello, biggies. This is the repair tool. Uh, it just repairs cars. And it can also set people on fire. Mm, yeah, if you happen to run it off a cliff. If it catches on fire, uh, there's no hope at that point. Because it's a, it's gonna explode. Hold on, I, I can fix- No, I can't fix it. I can't fix it! Put the fucking needle in your arm and run away! It repairs. Look, see, it repairs cars that you just may happen to injure in some way. I'm just gonna set you on fire though. It's so awful. Set on fire, set on fire. Yay. I won't spend any more time on the repair tool. Let's move on. The next gun, in quotations, is the flare gun. So it is a gun, but not really. It shoots. So I guess it is a gun. It shoots flares that catch things on fire. Like so. <laughs> and also, it, it's, used as a, it's used as a distraction. And if you're at an outpost or something, you could shoot it and it distracts people. So that, that's also a plus. Oh, did I kill somebody with this already? Shoot him in the ass, he catches on fire, he dies. What? Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Jesus. Alright, I'm setting too many- I'm setting too many fires here. Let's set more fires. Oh, the car is on fire. Oh, the car is on fire. Get back! Get back! Wait. Will it blow up then? Yes, it next up on the list is the bow and arrow. Now, bow and arrow, it's pretty simple. You just shoot it. And it kills people uh, with or without body armor. And real quick, I'm gonna pull out, I'm gonna whip out one of them explosive arrows. And then I'm probably gonna get killed for this. Or not, it didn't even blow up the car. Oh, it, did, it, it didn't even blow up the car. Hold on. I guess I'll fix it up with the repair tool. Ooh, guys, look, look, um, the repair tool is really good. See, it's great. All right, now we got fire arrows. Life's great. Oh, I caused a fire over there too. Oh. Oh, sorry, piggy. Big enough! So next up, we got the flamethrower. And the flamethrower, if you ever want bacon on the spot. You could just cause so many fires with this thing. Just, just pump it once. And then it starts a fire. Tiniest little bit will start a fire. Heal. Oh, I died. Alright, so the C4 and the mine you actually hold, but the Molotov and the grenade, it's their throwables. Molotov creates fires. Pretty basic. Grenade can also make fires, but it also blows up things. Oh, grenade can't make fires. I guess we figured that out. These people need to calm their asses down. Also, grenade. Oh, I didn't even blow up the car fully. Bruh. There we go. <laughs> See, the grenade's great. Now, we go to the mine and the C4. Uh, you start out with only being able to carry two mines and two C4s, but then if you upgrade your pouches and stuff, then you get more. Now, I can just place this on the road. Look, it's on the road now. If anybody runs it over, it blows up. I can also place a C4, which I already have in my second slot. There we go. L2 to throw, R2 to detonate, and then that'll probably blow up the mine as well. And there you go. 
A nice blend of C4 in my already. Because I'm gonna wingsuit away from an explosion right about now. Wait, I can't blow it up while I'm running away? Oh, that sucks. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold up. Well, now I just wanna blow it up. Well, Mythbusters, can you place a mine underwater? The answer may surprise you. Can you place a mine underwater? The answer is... Yes, you can! And C4. Yes, you can. Far Cry 3, what's my rating? Well, let's start with the pros. The pros are the gameplay's fun, the wingsuit's fun, the extra activities are fun. You can just run around the beautiful ass island with that blue ass water. The cons, I would give to story and the characters are bland beyond belief. Like, Voss, okay, Voss is the only non-bland and only good character in the entire game. The rest of them are just boring and bland. You got the black Jamaican dude, you got, uh, you got the, the girl who usually gets naked and is the leader, you got the bland white guy being the, the hero, you got all his bland white friends, you got his girlfriend that he leaves, and, but everything else is different. Voss, Voss is amazing. Voss is the only good character in this whole game. Hoyt, boring. Everybody else, boring. It's just Voss is the only good character, and they had to kill him off. Like, what the fuck? But anyways, my rating would have to be four stars out of five, because the game's really good, but don't play it for the story.